What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to generate Excel CSV files for our app with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to generate Excel spreadsheet files for our list of venues for our Django app. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we made this little function that creates a text file that when you open it, it lists all of our venues. I got a lot of feedback from people asking to do it for spreadsheet files and also PDF files. So we'll look at that in the next video. In this video, we're going to create this thing to make a spreadsheet out of our venue list. So now we can open this. And when we do, we get a spreadsheet with, you know, some headings here and then our current venue list. And this will automatically update whenever we add new venues. So then if we add a venue and then click this thing again, that new venue will show up in the spreadsheet automatically. So pretty simple to do this a little bit different than the last video, we have to do a couple extra things. And uh, but it shouldn't be too hard and should just take a couple of minutes. So let's head over to our code here. I'm using the sublime text editor in the Git bash terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Django Wednesday videos in this series. So okay, we've got our view. And in the last video, we generated this text file. So in order to use this, we need to import something that comes with Python already. It's called CSV. CSV stands for comma separated values. And spreadsheets are often CSV files, they're comma separated value spreadsheets. So to do that, we just go import CSV. Now CSV comes with Python. So we don't have to like pip install it from the terminal, it should just work just by importing it like that. So okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and copy this whole function that we did last time, because it's going to be sort of similar to do the CSV spreadsheet stuff, but a little bit different. So first off, let's change this from venue text to venue CSV. And then we don't need this thing. And this is going to be different. We'll leave it in for now. And we don't need all of this stuff. But we are going to return a response. So Okay, so first things first, in the last video, we generated a text file. And that was just the content type was just text and plain. But now this is going to be a CSV file. So it's going to be text and CSV, right? Not a big deal. And then here for the attachment that we're going to create, we don't want this to be venues.txt, we want it to be venues.csv, because we're doing a CSV file. So okay, that's really kind of all there is there. Now we need to create a writer. So let's say create a CSV writer, sort of think of this as instantiating a little instance of this writer thing that will do what it sounds like it will write to the CSV file, it will put the stuff in the file for us, right. So to do that, we just name it. So I'm going to call this writer, and we set this equal to a CSV dot writer, and we want to pass in response. So, okay, so now we need to designate our model again. So we want everything from our venues, because we want to make a spreadsheet of all of our venues, right. So we need to grab all that stuff from the database. And in the last video, well, several, several videos ago, we imported our venue model that allows us to use all of our venue stuff. And if you don't remember, we can head over to our models.py. And this is our venue model, right? So we've got name, we've got address, zip code, phone, web and email address. These are the things we want to put into the spreadsheet, right? So okay, we can designate that there. So now let's add column add column headings to the CSV file. So remember, at the top of your spreadsheet, we want to have a list of these things. So we want the first column to say name, the second one to say address, the next one to say zip code, etc, just so these are all labeled. So we can do that. So to do that, we use our writer that we just instantiated. So let's go writer dot we want to write a row, right? Because spreadsheets are rows and columns. And so we want to write a whole row. And now we just designate what we want to put in each column of those rows. And we can do that with a Python list. So here, this is just going to be just text, right? So what do we want these to say? So the first one will say venue name, right? And this is just a Python list. So there's just comma separated values in here. Next is going to be the address. And we're going to separate each of these with quotation marks, obviously. Next, we want the zip code. And then probably phone. And then like web address, something like that, www.whatever. 
and then finally email, right? And that's all there is to that. And again, I'm getting these things by this. So the name, address, zip code, phone, web, and email address, right? So we're just making text headings in our Excel spreadsheet. So, okay, simple. So now we need to, just like in the last video, loop through our venues, all of our venues, and sort of append them into the spreadsheet, right? So instead of lines.append like we did before, this is just gonna be writer dot write row like we just did. But instead of an F string, we want this to be a list. So let me just sort of come through here and make this a list. And instead of using brackets here, we just want to put the thing itself, right? Separated by commas because it's a Python list. So I'm just going to come through here and kind of manually take out all this stuff and add commas. So just bear with me here, venue web, and then venue email address, and then boom. So, okay, so this is just, like I said, a Python list, and each column will be the venue name, the venue address, the venue zip code, the venue web address, the venue phone, venue email address. So, okay. That's pretty much all there is to that. And now we just need to return the response. So that's really kind of all there is to it. So, you know, we also need to create a URL for this. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's head over to our urls.py. And actually, let me just sort of copy the one from the last video. It's probably be the easiest. Pop that in there. And let me just change this from instead of venue underscore text, it's gonna be venue underscore CSV. And instead of views.venue text, it's gonna be views.venue underscore CSV. And finally, instead of venue text for the name, we'll have venue underscore CSV for the name. All right, now if we wanna put a link on the actual website itself, we can do that in our nav bar. So let's come over to templates, events, find our nav bar, scroll down to where we created this venue text file. And let me pop that in there because we're gonna need that. Let's just copy all of this and paste it in. But instead of venue underscore text, of course, it's going to be venue underscore CSV. And then here we'll put venue CSV file. Okay, so go ahead and save this. So head over to our terminal and make sure our server's running. So python manage.py runs server. And alrighty, that looks good. Head back over to the website. And now we see, you know, here's our list of actual venues. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. Here we can click this venue CSV file. It asks whether we want to open or save it. I'm going to go ahead and save it. It's saving it as venues. Let's see, I'm going to save this to my desktop. So then we can open up Excel and then we can go file open, navigate to our desktop, wherever, we, wherever you saved it. Find that venues file. Let's see, there it is. Boom. Here's our spreadsheet. And we can resize these rows as you do with spreadsheets. They're not resized automatically. Spreadsheets hardly ever are. And there you go. You've, here at the top, we've got our headers that we put, venue name, address, zip code, phone, web, and email address. And those are obviously from, let's see, right here, this line where we sort of designated them. Very cool. And then we've got one, two, three, three, four, five venues and all of the information from each one. You'll notice this one doesn't have a web address and an email address because this one, let's see, which one is it? This one maybe doesn't have those two things. So of course it's not in the CSV file. Very cool, very easy. And that's really all there is to it. So just to recap really quickly, remember you need to import CSV. You need to use the CSV library, commas, comma separated values. And then you just designate this as a CSV file save it as, you know, whatever you want to save it as, .csv. To add things to your CSV file, you need a little writer. So we just set writer equal to csv.writer response. And then we can access our model to create the first row of sort of header stuff. We just writer.write row. Anytime you want to put anything in a row, you just writer.write row and then put the stuff in. We just have a comma separated comma separated values. You see, we're comma separating these things. That kind of makes sense in a regular Python list. And then we do the same thing here, just looping through our venues. 
basic for loop for venue and venues. And then we can access each of those things by just calling venue dot whatever. So venue dot name, venue dot address, venue dot zip code. And those things are obviously coming from our model. So that's venue dot name, venue dot address, venue dot zip code, et cetera, et cetera. And that's kind of all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off memberships. You pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.